Chef Alex. And today, I'm going to talk a little bit about fine dining and how crazy it is. So, essentially, what do I mean by crazy? Well, psychotic. Extremely nitpicked um, when you say diced onions, we're talking a dice so small it can barely be seen. Um, and essentially, what they want is you know, they want a teaspoon of onion to be enough for seven customers, um, and you have some pretentious. 23-year-old chef uh, who's in charge and basically they're in the back making recreations of old dishes you know um, I have no problem with that if you're gonna make a new and whimsical way of eating mac and cheese you know you know deep fry it into a nugget or you know stuff it into an empanada or who knows whatever floats your boat you know whatever gets you that Michelin star okay um, just remember that if you are gonna go for that star you have to have everything impeccable in the house out of the house front of the house back of the house you know your sidewalks and windows your counters your Tablecloths have to be pressed. I mean, serious shit. Um, is it worth it? Sure. It's financially worth it. Is it worth the pain in the ass to cater to people who think they deserve it? Probably not. The reality is that, you know, 85% of the people that walk in are very grateful and, and they're very kind. But there's always that 10 to 15% that walk in and think that, the, that they're privileged, that you are there to serve them. And they treat you, they treat you like that. Um, you got to learn to interact with these guys no choice because those are the rules you know 90 95% of the time those are the guys with the money so yeah bend over butt smooch you know the whole thing <laughs> you do what you gotta do listen um, your food can be just as good or not even as good as the next guy your PR skills are good, you can go places. So, work on your people skills. You know? Make sure that uh, everyone wants you around, not because your food's good, but because you're the guy. You know, when your food is good, they really are like, oh, he's such a nice guy, he's always here. Be in their faces. But if you're going to talk about fine dining and crazy, oof. some of these guys that are in the kitchen, you know, they'll send you home because you didn't do something right. Or it's like, really? You know, that's the stuff you do when you're in your 20s. When you're in your 50s, you say, you know what, if I send this guy home, I gotta do what he does. So, fine dining can be very demanding on your brain and on your body. And is it a young guy's game? No, not necessarily. It's a smart guy. of older chefs that are extremely successful 
and there are young chefs that are very successful. So, there you have it. The world of chefs. Learn to cook, and you'll eat better for the rest of your life, regardless of the crazy chefs. <laughs>